Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and we are doing a loadout video. I'm taking one of our e-bikes and we're gonna do 60 miles uh, trip and uh, hopefully this works out well. I'm gonna show you everything that we bring and I'm gonna do better at showing you the map because I've had quite a few questions on where was, where'd you go, do you have a map and all the other stuff. So I'll put the map in the description on this and the adventure video. Also, I'll show you the video, show you the picture of where I'm going in the, in the video itself. But um, this company sent me this, this is called the Trooper 01. It's by Yema. Let me get it out. Um, here it is. Boom. I've done an unboxing video of this already. Um, and I don't know if um, this is even rated for what we're doing. It has one gear, it, uh, so there's no shifting or anything like that. I'm, we're gonna put a trailer on here. Let me grab the trailer. It's so freaking big, I can't even get it through the door. So you haven't seen this trailer in a while. If you've followed me for any length of time, I haven't put this one out in over a year because uh, a lot of my videos have been sponsored by another trailer video. But uh, I need the room because we're gonna bring some stuff. All right. So this bike is a uh, 20 amp hour, 750 watt battery, 20, 20, 20 amp hour, 750 watt motor. Uh, so we're gonna just get this out of the way. It's not, look at this. There's no adjustment or anything, but this thing looks cool. I don't even know, can you see me? This thing looks cool. I love it. Hydraulic brakes, I've already talked all about it. If you want to see it, it, I'll put the link in the description right here. But yeah, let's get this out the way. We will have to mount um, the trailer onto it. Let's put this over here. Boom. All right. So 60 miles, hopefully two days. With this weight, I don't see this having any issue whatsoever doing 30 miles one day, 30 miles the next. I will not be able to charge because I am back going back up into the Shenandoahs. And man, I tell you, I uh, just got back from the Shenandoahs on a, a trip and there is very little towns or any much things at all to, to resupply or anything. So whatever I got to do, I got to bring with me, but I'm going to bring this and it's pretty much, this is an unload, load out loadout video but i gotta unbox this uh where's my pocket knife this company is called um e g a e tech it's sonic power um the uh i'll put it in the description but it's 1200 watt um and uh, this should have no problem charging this actually one and a half times or one and a quarter times but nice looking box and this is where you can uh, charge it with um, your cigarette lighter or just right off a wall plug which is pretty standard I'll put that right over there because that's got to come and get this out of the way um, wow huge manual oh because it comes in different languages I got you that's why it's such a big manual it's a different languages we'll put that over there Let's open this up, this out of the way. Um, if you do film, um, these are great for putting in your camera bag. I like keeping them, put those right there. So 1200 watts, this is not gonna be an issue at all. Let's turn this on. So it, it came uh, pre-charged 15%. Get that off, Let's throw it in the trash. There we go. Uh, what's that weigh? I wonder. It says it's a lightweight, um, lightweight alternative. Let's see what you weigh. Not able to grab it. There we go. 21 pounds. It's a little bit of weight there. Put this back where I won't be able to find it. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna charge this up. It does have a uh, charger on the top where you can put um, like your earbuds, cell phone anything that charges with that type of uh, charging system so that is gonna go in there the reason why I chose this one because it has a hard bottom the other one has a soft bottom and uh, I, I don't want to hurt it so 
I want to get right into the maintenance side of it real quick. So I'm bringing a 19 millimeter uh, socket, uh, opening wrench for the, for the tire. If I blow the tire, uh, Allen wrench will ball Allen's on the end. Those are nice just because it gets sometimes funky. I don't know if I'm going to bring both of these, but it's a 20 by four. I'm going to bring one of these just in case, because if the tire bust, the show is over and that's just disappointing. Uh, and that, that's reality. That's happened to me quite a few times. I am bringing my little goodie bag here and that's typically with like my coffee, uh, toothpaste, some deodorant to go into public, some gas, coffee, these little coffee sticks. They're called the uh, G7s. Some toilet paper, dude wipes. Hold on. I got some ibuprofen, a uh, beard comb uh, so I can look short. Also bringing a, a bar of soap, but let me, hold on. So Maple, Fire Maple, this company here, I'll put it in the description below. They sent me this and it's, it's kind of like a jet boil. Let's open it up and let's see. Where's my pocket knife? Um, let's see here. The Fire Maple sent me this to do a little review on it. Let's see here. So we got these little insulators. That's cool. I like this. There. So I think that goes around your, your thing. It's got instructions, which we don't use ever, unless it gets crazy. Then I might get them. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can change out these little koozie things. Look at that. So, all right. Let's see, what do we do here? Pull that, pull that back, open this up. That's cool. So this is supposed to be a fast boil type situation. Um, just a, I guess, space. Let's see here, what is this? Does that do anything? Oh, it opens up like that. So maybe a t burner top or something. We'll see. That might be go for the bottom. I'm trying to put everything back in this little box. Let's pull this out. So here's the the burner. Oh, okay. So you, you turn it on. I got to take that off. That's going to drive me crazy. So you open your gas and then it'll start the fire for you, which is awesome. That's cool. This is going to get annoying. Does that come off any other way? Like something I just cut it off. Here, there. Hopefully I didn't ruin that. Boom. So that's neat. A little, and uh, it tucks itself back down. This all goes into itself, which is neat. Put this back here. Let's move this over here. That's trash. That's trash. That's trash. Uh, I think this is your legs, so it gives you st stability. What size is this? One liter. Well, that's heavy. All right, so how do you put this on? All right, got it. So do you see these little knots right here? It's got a little place right there to slide in and then you lock it in. So boom, and that's this thing here. So let's open this up. Lid, does that have anything? So what is this? How does this fit on there? Can I take this off for a sec? All right, so this here, I'm trying not to make this like a super long video. Um, I gotta read on this. I don't know what in the world I'm looking at here. Or does it go the other way? No, I'm sorry. So here, maybe I got it. Maybe, I, I've never had a jet boil. Usually do everything by fire. Does this fit in there? That's it. So, so that fits in here like that and something grabbed my foot and then this screws inside here boom okay and then boom does that fit yeah you're staying and then just line up these boom okay and then you've got a way to boil so you just turn this on Boom. turn that off 
that got hot fast. Is that hot? Pull this off, boom. And I wonder, I guess that's if you want to do a, a single burner and put another pot over top of it. Um, boom, boom, yeah, that's what this is for. Yep, it's got these little things that it locks on. So you can cook something else over top of it so you don't have to do this whole pot thing. Um, so, all right, I'm not gonna bring this. I'll just bring this. Um, so let's put this over here and make sure I don't lose it. So pop this off, boom, really cool. Thank you, maple, fire maple. All right, so this needs to, like that. This go inside here, that. Then, how do you close this little button? Right there, and then got this little cable. So, I'll take. I'm gonna take that with me. Don't need this. This is a lighter weight version. This is just not maple, but this is a solo a Soto. But this and the other thing. Uh, then you have to bring your own cup. But I'm not gonna bring this trash and it. One more thing I wanted to show you with the, like the mechanic side of this. Boom. That right there is uh, the wind pump. Um, this actually will pump your car tires and your bike tires. Um, let me make sure this thing is charged. Um, it is a USB-C um, and it comes with the charger, the extra, uh, your pump uh, line. Comes with a bunch of different stuff. If you want to pump a uh, basketball or something like that, and then um, if it needs to be changed over, but we'll make sure this all works before we leave. Um, turn the power on. That's cool. LED right there. You can, that scared me to death, actually. I pushed the button. It's already set for bike, and you can t put the, the um, PSI that you want, it'll stop. So we're gonna bring that. I don't need any of this stuff. I'm gonna put this stuff here because I'm not sure what all I wanna bring, but I definitely don't need that. I'll just throw that away. I don't need it. All right, so little goodie bag. I wanted to show you my food. So I got the coffee. This company sent me, it's called Rec Pack. It's a meal replacement. Um, and this one is for coffee. You just add water to it and drink it. Never had this before, but awesome company. Uh, super cool people. So um, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in any of these. They got, um, there's meal supplements as you're doing a trip. You can just drink this stuff. 700 calories inside here. And zero pretty, here. I don't know if you want to screenshot that. Can you see all that? But you can look in the description as well. So food here. I love this company here. They've always been so sweet to me. Outdoorpantry.com. This is uh, venison, uh, hunter's pie. So there's venison inside here, which is really awesome. For breakfast, we've got uh, milk, butter, buttermilk biscuits and gravy, which is awesome with coffee. Got a freaking heat advisory today for 110. Uh, all right, so food, charging, We've got our stuff to repair the bike if any issues. Coffee, charging myself, talk about, and a way to um, cook all this because you got to boil water and stick it inside there. So let's talk about sleep system. Boom. So this is my quilt for um, my top quilt from Dutchwear.com. It's down, super lightweight, hardly any, weighs anything. Uh, I'm a two pillow guy. So one for my head, one for my um, for my legs. Actually, let me go grab them. This is my, it's a Thermarest Eno Air x Light. This is it right here. It's a lightweight, not the most comfortable one to have, but it's the lightest and kind of packs down. The more comfortable they are, the bigger they are. And I also have, I wanna show you this, and I've got a little pump here that will pump that up, which doesn't take a lot of space. You just stick this in there and put that on here. And it, this will blow it, but if you move this to the top, it'll uh, suck the air in and it's USB charged. 
So that probably should go inside there. Boom. One thing I'm just gonna show you is bottles of water because I usually bring those. Um, I'll just stop by at Dollar General and get one of those, or two of those big water bottles. Just trying to see if I had one. I wanna show you this. This company's been patient with me. I have used this quite a bit and I really liked it. But Tom Show, Tom Shoe, um, sent me these two things here. Um, and what it is, is a really neat, this is a table. You just open it up and you take this. All of them are fairly the same. Am I messing up? No, I'm not. Not crazy heavy. But then you just take this and it's got these little knobs right here. Just put it right there. Come on. And then open it up. Gotcha. So, boom. Open this up. Boom. All right, so she's locked in. I'm just rushing. Put this right there the little notch here and now you've got this really lightweight table tom shoe sent me this I, I want to like this it's it's a neat idea i've used it quite a few times and haven't shared it with you because i wanted to play with it so it comes with all these they usually are tied together and then it has this and you open it up and I'm, i'll i'll build it for you um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this right or not. So let's see, probably there, there, there. It's all kind of just loose, which is kind of weird. I hate talking bad about a company that necessarily doesn't deserve it, but, um, all right. So you got that and then boom, I think that might be too far. So it's these two. So it's got to be like the closer ones are the two. Does this fit on top of that? Oh, let's move this over right there. And then just like a, a, a normal chair. So it has the name Tom Shoe on the top. Let's see if I'm doing this right. And I feel like I'm not. That doesn't feel right. That shouldn't do that. All right. So I'm messing up. So open it back up. So it should be this way so it can push itself outward. That makes sense. All right. A lot of the other ones put together, they're, they're stuck together with a, um, these little bungee cords inside so you don't have to do all this. It just automatically kind of builds itself, but this makes sense this way. So there it is. That's it, just like that. I'm gonna take this, it's not uncomfortable. It's actually a comfortable chair I've been done a couple of motorcycle rides that I brought it with me and I uh, brought this with me um, one time two times two trips and uh, just not talked about it because I was just kind of playing with it and figuring it out so I'll read right back I'm gonna shut all this down real quick finished all right so table chairs sleep system I want to show you my sleeping bag this is by Palmali. There is the poles. And this is actually a hot tent, which I'm not gonna utilize at all, but the uh, in the vestibule, it has a place for a hot tent. And I'm gonna show you, don't forget my helmet. I'm gonna bring my helmet with the um, camera mount on top. Just put that right there. Does it stay? Yeah. And then this is the ground sheet that protects it. So that's all I'm gonna bring other than camera gear, which I'll post I'll put up front there to be a little bag, but it's just Osmos 3 um, with some ND filters. If you're going to do uh, action cameras uh, in the summertime, uh, ND filters are amazing and a cheap way to give it like a really neat little cinematic, cinematic look to it. Your um, ND4 um, have it facing you because there's, if you're having a camera facing you this way, an ND4 in the sunlight. Typically there's not a lot of sun because you'll be blocking it with your head or the sun is facing you or on the side of you. But your ones that are facing outward, do your S, uh, ND filter eight or 16 because uh, that is gonna have direct sunlight or sun flares and stuff like that. I think it's, and I could get this backwards, but I think the eight is uh, for like uh, low light and then your 16 is, and I think I'm telling you right, the 16 is for like sun directly to you. To it so it just kind of puts a shades on them 
and gives it a really neat look. But yeah, I think I've brought everything other than the camera stuff. Like I said, the uh, Osmos 3, one on facing me, one outward, and then the um, DJI uh, Mini 3, not the Pro, and some extra batteries. Oh, and the uh, Insta360, Insta uh, just got it back. So hard on camera stuff. Make sure you get the two year warranty, five year warranty. It's inexpensive, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, because if like me, I'm, drowning my drones and for $45 I get a brand new one or my um, Insta360 I, well, I had it in the back while I was riding it fail and it's just sitting there bouncing on the ground and uh, cracked it up scratched it and everything so uh, and uh, for just a couple of uh, I think it was a hundred bucks I wound up sending me a brand new one because I had the warranty um, because it was my fault but uh, yeah so and it's some extra batteries so that's all gonna go here some water, um, uh, you've seen my food. So yeah, that's it. There's some lighters in there, two lighters. I might get a water filter. Oh, well, let me show you one more thing before you go, if you're still watching. Um, this company sent me this stuff out. It is for training, for like body uh, workout type stuff. It's called Zombie Sports. They reached out to me um, on Instagram and asked me if I would be interested in doing this type of stuff. When you're f physically working hard and um, when you're done, um, and with me, when I'm done with the trip completely, you just feel a little bit sore or, or um, tight or whatever in your legs, your back or whatever. That's what this stuff is. It's all natural. Um, man, all the stuff that's on here, I can actually read. Apple, apple cider vinegar, mothers, uh, there's uh, vitamin E, coconut oil, blah. Uh, so uh, this comes in a spray no. don't fall so th they came with a spray I'll leave this in the truck and I'll probably just spray it on me it does have a salve that you can just rub if they're if you're sore it does come with um, a chapstick and this is all just natural stuff if you've got cold sores or chapped um, lips or anything also if you have like chapped hands or anything you can just rub it on there I've done a lot of long distance kayaking um, and if you go further down in my channel, go over to my channel, go to videos and scroll down. But we've done like huge miles on kayaking and uh, your hands just get kind of dry and chap. This chapstick actually works really well. And then this is another um, essential oil for aches and pains so on your joints and stuff like that. So I'll put that in the description. Thank you Zombie Sports for uh, sponsoring that, sending that to me. So I need to charge this. All my other stuff has been charged. But so the next time you see me, I'll be taking this. I don't know what happened there. Why did that happen? So the next time you see me, I should be taking all of this in the wilderness, uh, in the Shenandoahs and doing 60 miles with it. And hopefully not dying. You know what? These tires are all the same. I probably should bring two just in case. I don't think these would pop, but there are 20 by 40s and these are 20 by 40s. I might bring two, but um, before we go, do you want to see if this will fit in here? Here, come on, let me show you. All right, let's see. First thing is this. This is going to be heavy. Will this fit a long ways? Dude, it fits like freaking perfect. All right, so that, turn this off. All right, so that's off. Ground sheet, tent, table, chairs. This, let's go right there some pillows boom you know i'll probably put this in a um, a dry bag so because uh, i don't want that getting wet um probably put this stuff aside here my food and i'll need to get a just in case a uh a water filter so i don't want nothing weird to happen um here and i, I don't think i'll have an issue at all so boom so that should be absolutely fine. It's well over a couple hundred, that meant 100, that's gotta be 100 plus pounds. But let's put you back up. There we go. So if you like videos like this, uh, remember we do adventure videos every Saturday. Just hit your thumbs up, uh, hit the notification bell. It'll tell you when I come out with a new video. And if you wanted to subscribe, uh, when I put out a video, it typically will push out to you guys first. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.